Should the pill cost nil? Should infertility be infertilla free? <laughs> well, a leading medical advisory panel is recommending that all insurers be required to cover contraceptives for women at no cost as a preventative service under the new health care law. And the Obama administration says it agrees. No surprise there. Which means this could take effect for many plans in 2013. The panel argues that half of all pregnancies in the U.S. are unintended and 40% of unintended pregnancies end in abortion. So greater use of contraception would reduce all of that. But the Roman Catholic Church and many conservative groups strongly oppose. As a spokeswoman for a pro uh, Catholic pro-life group notes, pregnancy is not a disease and fertility is not a pathological condition to be suppressed. Anyway, the panel also recommends making this safe sex instructional video mandatory. Can we see a clip? They're applying for my internship. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they either get the job or they die. That's how it works. Uh, KT, should the government play a role in reproductive health? I think um, it's a very good idea mm -hmm. to have contraception available and available to all income groups because at the end of the day, it's a lot better than having to deal with the abortion issue. However, true, I find it really upsetting to who's making these decisions. Not Congress, mm -hmm. not the individuals, not the market. The secretary, mm -hmm. a, a cabinet officer who's accountable to nobody. Now, she may be making a, what I think is a good decision on contraception, but is she going to make another decision on granny? Right. Is she going to say, oh, granny, you're 80 years old. You but know. granny can't have kids. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, you don't know. You don't you know. know. There, there are there advances. There are medical miracles exactly. that are happening every day. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Bill's hoping for that, actually. <laughs> he wants to grow to get to be 80, so they might have a chance for him to have a baby. Bill, what do they have against unintended pregnancies? I was an unintended pregnancy. And you, look at you. And look at me. I'm a successful TV host. I'll tell you exactly. <laughs> well, first of all, you were on The Five talking about this today. And yeah. Dana Perino said, where's the stuff? Why don't they give away free shoes? you got to tell her shoes don't reproduce. <laughs> Have that talk with her. But I'll tell you why they're doing it. First of all, I'm told the gov that, uh, that Republicans don't like taxes. We find that taxpayers spend $12 billion annually, annually on publicly financed medical care for women who experience unintended pregnancies and on infants who are conceived unintended. Intentionally, 70% of juveniles come from single parents' homes. This is a huge, and we know how much those juvenile detention centers cost us. This is going to save us money. This is an investment. The government should not be placating Catholics. The government should be saving us money. And if they really wanted to placate Catholics, tell my priest to keep those sermons at five minutes sharp. <laughs> Joe? Yes. Uh, Care to counter that argument with something? I was waiting for Bill to put out a few more percentages. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's the hey, got a brain room yeah. I decided to use. <laughs> I heard they're actually going to enlist a similar program for men. Oh, really? Where they not only give guys free condoms, but they'll actually send somebody to your house that, that will force you to put it on. <laughs> I might make that call. Uh, Instructional video. Yeah. No, I, look, my, my stance on this is my the same stance I have with, like, drugs. Mm -hmm. All of this should be legal. Abortion should be legal. Uh, contraception, yeah, I mean, not, not that contraception is illegal, but it should be free. It should be provided. It should be easy. I'm not going to pay get. for abortions. It should be. Uh, come on. What I'm not. You, what's, what's it going to cost you? <laughs> <laughs> 250 bucks last I checked. All right. It should be out there. I, no, it's, it's not. I, if, I don't, if I don't believe in it, I'm not going to pay for it. That's my right. Kinsey? Uh, well, I just thought it was interesting that the, the people that they're offering it to already have insurance. So I wondered what the point, what's the point in that? Um, yeah. But I do, I don't like 16 and pregnant or teen mom, so if we could avoid television like that, I, I would really appreciate that. So, the, yeah, the, 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 the benefit of all of this is no more bad reality TV on MTV. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Which, yeah. If you call that a, a benefit. I'm starting, to re <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to rethink my policies on this, right? I DVR every single one twice. Yeah. All right. Do you have a comment on the show? Email us. It's redeyefoxnews.com. And to leave a voicemail, my direct line, 212-462-5050. Still to come. The halftime report from TV's Andy Levy. I hate that guy. Hate him. Tonight's halftime report is sponsored by Joggling, the competitive sport that combines two great activities into one, jogging and juggling, hence the name. Thanks, Joggling.